I'm Anastasia Steele. Anna is a college student, smart, savvy. Her world has come through books. She's not necessarily worldly, but she understands life through what she's read. Tell me, was it Charlotte Bronte, Jane Austen, or Thomas Hardy who first made you fall in love with literature? She's a virgin. She doesn't drink a lot. She doesn't do drugs. But it's not that she's like a goody two-shoes. She's just a, a girl and doing her thing. She's herself. I just needed a couple of days some space from Christian just to get my head straight, that's all. She's more open with her mother than she is with anybody else about what she's experiencing, but she doesn't really open up to anyone. She keeps her privacy and she's dealing with a lot of things on her own. What is that even? I think there's an element of awkwardness to her and a, a clumsiness to her that he would take huge pleasure in ironing out and sort of fixing. Goodbye, Mr. Burke. She has a lot of qualities that are great for someone to be submissive and to control and be demanding of. So essentially, at her core, she has a lot of those elements that he's attracted to. Impressive. I've done this before. Business meetings, I mean. I think that she's a little intimidated. I mean, a lot intimidated by him, and she's never been intimidated by someone. But also, she's a person with feelings and opinions, and she's not a pushover. She's gonna stand up for herself, so she does. And then that challenges him. You want to leave? Yes. But your body says different. I don't think that his power or wealth has anything to do with what she feels for him. I think it's the way he sees her. I think it's the way he looks at her, and I think it's the way he understands her upon knowing her for four minutes. Now what? 